Okay, hello Minecraft, um, and YouTube. Basically, <laughs> uh, I'm going to show you today how to do a force field, because force fields are awesome and they're quite complicated, so, yeah, basically, first you're going to need a lot of E, E, what is it, M, E, F, U, whatever it is. Okay, so you're going to want to make a little solar array sort of thing here. That should do. Then you're going to want glass fibre, because they don't really lose much power. So it's a lot better than normal the normal stuff. And then you're going to want to place a what they call an EU injector, so it is EU. And then on top of this, this is important, you have to get this right. You're going to want a force field core. And then you're going to want whatever projector you use. There are three or four different projectors. So once you've got that in place, I can get rid of that. You're going to want to put an MFSU, only MFSU will really work for this, in there. That will start storage, uh, start power storaging, storing the power. Um, I can't believe I just said power storaging. Um, because that means it will also work at night. Then you're going to want a redstone, you're going to want a redstone input, so you're going to want some of that sort of stuff. Okay, and that's going to want to go onto the core itself. So, what the hell, I hate it when that happens. It just randomly does that. Okay, get a bit more. Okay, and then you're going to want to put a wireless receiver in. Has to be a receiver. Can't be the other one. A transmitter. And then you're going to want to click on advanced. Set the name as Bob or something. Um, put a good value on it. Set the name again, Bob even. Okay, set name. Then click set name. Then on your on your uh, wireless remote, you're gonna want to select Bob. That basically means that it'll turn on the core and stuff. But you actually, I just realised and remembered that you're going to want to do this. Uh, you're going to want this put on here. Basically, you're going to want it so it's constantly on. So you're going to want to have that go up there, and then you're going to want a red stone, a red torch. Red stone torch in there. So that will basically mean that's permanently on. Now that you've got that, you're going to want to put a card in. It is called a blank MFFS card. You're gonna to want to put it in the bottom of the frequent. You want to put it in the bottom of there, and then you stick it in the top. Oh, once you've so I want this on as high as it can go, just because it gives the best impact. Okay, and sphere looks cooler, but cube is actually sort of bigger, and yeah, it's almost better to be honest. And you stick that in, and then that should project. So, I sort of did it on here just for that. Okay, so, even though I'm uncreative, yeah, so I'm now standing on the floor of the thing. But, even though I'm uncreative, you cannot get through that. Unless, you turn your, uh, you turn your thing on. Which, it, I just remembered, won't work, because this is... Okay, so once these, these have to be both connected basically. And then, now we can select that, for two we go. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. And yeah, uh, actually, if you just put a few more solar panels on, it should work better. It will like, yeah, you, you just may as well put some more solar panels on. And then, it because of the MFSU, it will run at night, if I set it to night now. Without the MFSU, it would not be running right now, because the solar panels would cut out and stop working. So, yeah, thanks. I think I'll have another tutorial after this on how to attach upgrades on, which basically mean that so up, the different upgrades include changing this from being, from looking like this sort of texture pack, to looking like any other block on the game with in reason. So yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like and comment.